of Jesus. Yeah. Let bad our heads for prayer. Ancient of day, the king that reigneth, the peace, the peace of peace. Oh, yes. Jehovah Jireh, the Lord of love, yes. the king of universe, yes. the God, a God of consuming fire. Oh, yes. There is no like you, Lord. Oh. We are in your presence this morning. Yes, May you receive our thanks and our praise in the name of Jesus. Yes. God is you. You alone that made the sea with your word and the sea was departed. Mm. Many is now present this morning, Lord. As your word is coming forward, as the prayer is going forward, Father, every sea before them, let them be departed in the name of yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Lord, there was a situation in the Bible in the city of Gadara. A man that filled with legends and power of principality. But Jesus, when he arrived there, there all authority over their bow before Jesus. Yes. Under my voice, every voice, every power that is called of God, right I on. command you to bow this morning in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Lord, we are going to enter 2013. Oh Lord, a year of a glorious and a miracle and a prosperous year. Yeah. Yeah. The Lord of Lords. Yes. He says, speak the word, it shall be established. Yes. Father, I speak peace upon our life. Amen. I speak peace upon our life. Amen. I speak peace upon our family. Amen. Lord, let blessing be our portion. Amen. Let prosperity be our portion. Amen. Let healing be our portion. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh Lord, this morning. We bless you. Yes, we exalt your holy name. Yes, we give you glory. Yes, we give you honor. Yes, May your name be lifted. Yes, In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, yes. Yes. Be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. 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 Say loud and loud. It's today not a wonderful day. Just check it out. Men of black, wonderful. Excellent men. Succulent men. Bon bon. Hallelujah. Look at them. Look at them. They are smashing in their black suits. Ah, look at them well now. Smash your back and you look good. If you want to see the image of God, he said, and God said, let us make man our image. Look at them. Hallelujah. Manipulsa always. Manipulsa always. Day. We are just beginning. We've not started. Amen. Amen. We have shared water for you so that you will cool down yourself. So that when it gets hotter, you will refresh yourself. Let us put ourselves on our feet now as we do the hymn song. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
<laughs> yeah, something like it's free. Oh. So don't tell me you don't have CNN. If you are loose Sky News, okay, what of NTA? Raise up your hand. Hallelujah. So we have a news we'll be listening to today, a superb news. And that one is called LWN Broadcasting Service. Hallelujah. Amen. Light of the world news. Have you heard it before? No. Light, of the, no. light of the world news. See, another is from America. Light of the world news is from the land of Goshen. Amen. From the two lights and this one. Hallelujah. Mass communication. I'm going to give you the briefings God is going around the world today, yeah. and uh, we have a, a very wonderful um, correspondent, eh? all the way from Australia, land of Goshen over there, Mayoka in Australia. Hallelujah! Yeah. Hallelujah! So right now, we welcome our new caster, uh, Mr. Celestine and uh, Mr. Victor. Could you please come straight? Yeah. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Light of the World Network Service present God's Kingdom News. My name is Osage Celestine Ewosa. My name is Okoje Vito. Listen to the headlines. Jehovah has built a house of light for his children in Pama de Mayoka. Plans to overcome crisis. Amen. Satanic plan to destroy men. Amen. God's plan to rescue men. Amen. Jehovah has built a house of contact for the children of men in Panama. The place was discovered a year ago, and the place called the land of Goshen, where all men are choose to worship God in truth and in spirit. A church is built and to run the affairs of men on earth. And a name were given to the church by God from John 1, 9. True life salvation church of God. That everyone that worship there, that worship there in obedience, will not in darkness but light, because this is this that is the truth, light of God, and we gain the kingdom of God. For that reason, the senior pastor, Pastor Prince, has called everyone in Papa to come and worship in true light, salvation, so as men can dwell in the light. The, the, the day that of darkness is over. Plan to overcome crisis. Listen. True Life Salvation Church of God has set up a program to overcome crisis. The program are as follows. One, invite all men to receive Christ into their lives. That Christ is the only means to, er to eradicate crisis. Two, they have also set up a Bible study every Wednesday to equip all members by the word of God at 7.30 p.m. to 9 p.m. So they shall not be perished because of lack of knowledge. Amen. Three, they have also set up a prayer program which comes up every Friday, 7.30 p.m. to 9 p.m. According to the pastor in charge, says that if you, if you can follow this program regularly, in less than a few months, crisis will run away by itself. Amen. Amen. Satanic plan to destroy men. Satan the devil set up military plan to divert the heart of men from God. Many have accepted devil by going in search for money by all means. Some have entered hard drug business, which ended some in prison. Many have gone into ritualism in order to prevent them from police trap. Yet, many were caught and are in jail. Two, many women run into prostitution, and many of the women have lost women value, even their wounds. Some contacted incurable sickness. Some have made sex with spirit, all in search for money, which make many to refuse to marry. God's plan to rescue men. John 3 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believe in him will not perish but shall have everlasting life. Amen. Hence, true light advise all men to believe in Christ Jesus and run away sinful living. Therefore, even though you were in all this mentioned sinful life, you still have the second chance to repent as you are hearing the news so that Jesus can save you. For our God is a savior. 
So we want to hear from our correspondent from the land of Goshen. Hello, Mr. Sale, are you there? I'm there. Although I'm from just really right all the way from the land of uh, Goshen. Though it's really chilly out here, but I'm going to run my correspondent um, um, investigation. Right now, here in the land of Goshen, people are really zealous. They have seen the risk facing them from the plans of the devil. According to the book of Romans 5 9, which says that for everyone has been justified through his blood. And that has rescued us from the wrath of God. Now listen, people are now looking for ways so that they can come and know the Lord. People are looking, they, they, are, they are you know, searching for endless ways where they can know the way, the rescue way out, where they can know the Lord. So now we are going to hear from our pastor right now who has got wonderful um, ways, he has got wonderful ideas on how people could be rescued from this um, terrible crisis, you know, plunging them. Hold on right now, so we hear from our pastor from the land of Goshen. Pastor! God bless you. Uh, from the land of Goshen, True Life Salvation Church of God, God has uh, given us revelation on how to overcome all these crises and the plans of the Satan. God has instructed us to learn his word. God is a loving God. He has choose to rescue men. Despite all this nation's sinful life, God can still use you. Remember Mary Magdalene? She was the first to see Jesus from the resurrection. God has not forgotten you. Forsake your sinful way. Come to Jesus. God will use you. And you will meet Jesus at the last day. We are saying this not for us to run after money, money, money. Money will pass away. Money will perish. But the word of God is the everlasting word. Just believe. We have set up many programs, especially our Bible study on every Wednesday. We want you all not to fail Bible study and the prayer day. As to do this, God in heaven will rescue you in Jesus' name. Yes. Amen. Your blessing. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, uh, Pastor from the land of Goshen. Right now, Celestine, so you've heard from him, from our honorable pastor. So, um, you guys are looking cute over there. Wonderful. All right, we are to make the news from thank the you, Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah, we all know year 2012 was a successful year. Jehovah has built a house of contact for his children in Pama de Mallorca. Plans to overcome crisis, satanic plan to destroy men, God plans to rescue men. <clears throat> Two Life Salvation Church of God and all the members record there was no loss of life among the members. Hence that we call for celebration. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Thank you very much. A hands of applause. Oh. 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 You, my brother, are come forward right now. <laughs> Boy, clap up into the glory of God. This man wants to show his talent. He wants to show what the Lord has put on him. Amen. A Bible recitation. Hallelujah. I clap up from once more. Amen. Do your Bible to the book of Psalm 121. You are there, say amen. amen. So I read, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. Verse 2 there, my help cometh from the Lord which made heaven and earth. Verse 3, he will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not suffer. Amen. Verse 4, Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall not slumber nor sleep. Amen. Verse 5. The Lord is a keeper, the Lord is a chain upon their right hand. Yes. Verse 6. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. Amen. Verse 7. The Lord shall preserve. Preserve thee from all evil. Amen. He shall preserve thy soul. Amen. Amen. Verse 8, the last verse. The Lord shall preserve thy going out. Amen. And thy coming in. Amen. From this time forth. Amen. And living forever.
Alléluia. Amen. 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 But God still have a wonderful plan for you. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Like my husband who said, those days work in the construction. I always put, I don't like some to touch this head. I always put face cap. And when I do mistake, we will not me, we say, let's think I better not pack around. No pack on egg around, Sebastian. No pack on egg around. If I stand across that bean. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Now, something very explosive is about to come for the men. Go behind. Oh. It's a, it's a, Thank you. 
song and we are singing. Give me a chance. It's fine. But first of all, honor my land. You walk in, sir. Hallelujah. Gloria a 
doy Oh Señor Que tu nombre es grande y digno de Excellent is dwelling richly amongst us. Hallelujah. We bless God for this divine day. Amen. It's a wonderful thing to be in the house of the Lord. Shall we all rise on our feet? I will take the Bible reading. Leviticus, we're going to read verse 13. Verse 3 to 4. is to examine the soul on his skin, and if the hair in the soul has turned white and the soul appears to be more than skin deep it is a leprous disease when this priest examine him he shall pronounce him ceremonially unclean for in the last if the spot on his skin is white, but does not appear to be more than skin deep, and the hair in it is not turned white, the priest is to put the infected person in isolation for seven days. Declare with me. This is the word of the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. I believe what it says concerning me. I and I believe it shall come to pass in my life. In Jesus' name. Amen. You may be seated. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. For those taking note, this morning we'll be discussing a topic called the bearers of good news. Amen. Amen. Or if you want to use the old Queen English, they call it, they call it the carriers of good tidings. Amen. According to King James. The bearers of, you, of good news. Hallelujah. Today we live in a world where news form a very, very vital part of our being. We have on internet, televisions, all types of news coming across. They stream them into our living rooms. But almost 99% of the news we look at today, they are all bad news. Amen. And in most cases, they call this news entertainment news. Hallelujah. Today is a joy for satellite stations to tell you about the fall of a famous man. Amen. A few days ago, we were told uh, Berlusconi in Italy, you know, has settled with his wife in divorce, 4 million euros every, every month. And people are joyful and say this, yeah, at least his home is broken. May God help us in Jesus' name. Amen. You see, the world gets endangered most of the time disseminating bad news. It has become a profitable business to 
just carry around what we Amen. Look at the person sitting beside you. What is in your mouth? Amen. It is a shame that men and women they get busy and say, I am going to work. And for eight hours in one place, they are just disseminating bad news to the world. And we are wondering why things are happening. And say to the person who is saying, I have good news for you today. I have good news for you today. The bearers of the news. Hallelujah. Amen. The carriers of good news. Amen. Children of God, yes, at times, things that are not comfortable can take place in our life, like the loss of a loved one. Amen. Amen. Things we less expect can just happen. It's a news. Amen. The one thing I know about God. He said, all things work together for good. Underline the word good. All things work together for what? Good. For them that believe in him and those that trust in his name. Amen. Attractive. Amen. A lot of people don't even want to listen to good news. Today in the world, there are a lot of discoveries taking place. Scientific breakthroughs happening in the field of medicine. Amen. Telecommunications, gadgets are advancing, but you hardly see them on your screen. Amen. Amen. You hardly see them on your screen until it's before you to buy. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Because they believe nobody will be interested. And in the life of so many Christians are like that. See, let me go and preach the gospel. The first question that enters your mind, will they even listen to me? Amen. How can me who has been womanizing all over the place can stand before you again and tell us, you know, Jesus loves you? Praise the Lord. The first thing that disqualifies you before good news is self-condemnation. Praise the Lord. In other words, those who own these media houses have already decided good news is not a profitable business. They've condemned themselves and they engage in bad news. They will not hear bad news in Jesus' name. Amen. The reason why you are to be a carrier of a good news is that it gives you an unending access. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It gives you an unending, a supernatural access that you ever even think cannot even be accessible to you. In Leviticus 13, we saw people described with a situation. And the priest called them leprous. When you are leprous, you are not allowed to live among the normal men. And most of us from Nigeria can identify with this. When you are traveling between Lagos and Benin, you come to a to, to, to a place in the forest, you see people hanging on the road and begging for a living. Praise the Lord. Because why they have become an outcast. Amen. For such for just one reason, they are just leprous. Amen. So they are unwanted. Hallelujah. They are unwanted. Nobody wants to see them. Nobody wants to identify with them. But these people do have a family living in towns. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. See, my situation is about to change. My situation is about to change. Amen. Amen. You see, there comes a time in Israel. Hallelujah. When this law, they follow it strictly. Even when a little rash appears on the skin, anyone who don't like you go to a prison and says that person there is having leprosy. And they just come and cast them out. Praise the Lord. You see, there was one thing that struck me when I look at it, the situation where God was giving this bowl, these rules in Leviticus, they were still in desert. Praise the Lord. Imagine being in desert, struggling to survive, and just a rash appears on your skin. They will say, No, you can't be among us. They send them out. And the only thing that we are allowed to send out in camps of Israel were scapegoats. We all know what scapegoat is. A scapegoat is a type of a sacrificial animal. Amen. That when they have decided and says, This one is going to be a scapegoat, they take that goat far away into sandy area where there is no grass. 
Praise the Lord. No grass, no water to drink. Amen. And when they release this gold, they release this gold with such a body that when he is dragging this stone, he can't even go a, a meter in three hours. Hallelujah. Amen. And the straight gold will slowly, slowly die. And that's what happens to lepros. But today I'm saying, I am a carrier of good news. Say to yourself, I am a carrier of good news. He come to a time, these guys were in crisis. In Israel, they begin to eat themselves. Half of the town we are already destroyed by famine. And these lepros were standing outside the gate. I don't know the situation that, that is in your life this day. Hallelujah. And you are telling yourself, how can I break through? How can I come in? How can I assess the glory God has destined for my life? This morning, I have a good news for you. Amen. Amen. When God decided to change the situation of Israel, he started outside the camp. Amen. Today you may feel alienated from the society because of the color of your skin. Or perhaps the knowledge of the book you might have in your head that is telling you, I can actually do what is good. But just work as a liberal. Amen. I have good news for you. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. We are serving a God that does not look at the color of skin or qualification to promote you. He does not take promotion from Satan himself who says, I am releasing a blessing unto you. Amen. Yeah. Amen. If Baba you are calling or is even looking for a solution. Hallelujah. It is part of the problem. Amen. And at the end of the day, the solution the Baba is looking for is to get money. And when you call and say, oh, my, seat, my solution has come. They begin to exploit it. Hallelujah. Minus you in Jesus' name. Yeah. But when you decide and say, oh, this is a problem. And you go on your knees and say, oh, you problem, I am not parting. The war of Jericho stood before Israel. And God told them to march forward. But how can you march through war? Because they begin to praise me. Amen. As they begin to praise and praise and praise and praise. What happened to the war? And it became a good. Hallelujah. It became a good. Amen. You shall carry good news in Jesus' name. Amen. You carry destructive news on your mouth. The people that are accessible to you are the people that are destructive. Because you cannot tell a good man destructive news and he listens. Never. Amen. Amen. But when you carry good news, the people that are accessible to your life are good people. Amen. Hallelujah. May good men and women be accessible to you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. What do you have in your mouth? Hallelujah. Amen. 2013 is fast approaching. You have to make a decision what is going to be on your mouth. Amen. You have to make a decision what is going to be on your tongue. Because the word of God says, the power of life and death is in the tongue. He said, dead and not the fruit thereof. Eat. Amen. 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 man of God. Yeah. Begin to water him right now. By faith, take authority as children of God, as believers, this very moment. That God, even as he has blessed us, oh God, with this world that has come from your throne of grace, this life will never go empty. In the mighty name of Jesus.
your name, Lord Jehovah, help you that. May your name be exalted, Lord. Amen. May your name be lifted up above me on that day, Lord. That in Jesus' wonderful name we pray. Amen. Amen.
to Jesus. Amen. Amen. Don't be tired because of our time. This is the last Sunday we have in the year. Amen. We will just enjoy it throughout. Hallelujah. May we have our seats. The house in the name of Jesus. Feel our home in the name of Jesus. Lord, we have ended this year with celebration. Lord, we will continue next year with celebration. As we be launching into the year of my total recovery, whatever that have been stolen from this year that have not yet recovered, as we launch into the new year, Lord, may we begin to recover them in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus, now we pray. Before, let's share the grace of fellowship, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the same fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Rest and abide with us now, Father of God. Amen. The Lord is my shepherd; I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pasture. He leadeth me beside the still water. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Ye know I walk through the valley of shadow of death. I will fear no evil, for thou art with me, that rod and that staff that comfort me. Thou preparest the table before me in presence of my enemy. Thou anointed my hair with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please let the I've come to praise you, Lord. I've come to adore you, Lord. Open your arms wide. Receive all my praise today. I've come to praise you, Lord. I've come to adore you, Lord. Open your arms wide. Receive all my praise today.